Once again, it's your boy Red Milwaukee 414 coming back at it again, straight from Snickers Code Line. Man, today, 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 I have a special review that uh, I'm actually gonna do. You saw the thumbnail, you guys know what it is. My first time doing a review in a minute. Uh, been going through a couple things, family death and whatnot. So, you know, just real life stuff. So, you know, I had to put reviews and uh, just different vlogs and videos on hold for a second um, because. I had real life things going on, you know, that took precedent over doing stuff like this or whatever like that. And I just didn't have enough time. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope everybody is having an amazing day today. Let's go ahead, get into it right now. Don't want to take too much time. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If this is your first time watching, appreciate you watching out, you know, watching the video, checking out your boy's channel. Appreciate y'all. If you've been watching for a minute, you've been sub for a minute. My man. For a minute, I appreciate the continued viewership. So let's go ahead and get into it. Make sure you guys check out sneakerheadsclothingline.com. Make sure you guys check out the Instagram, sneakerheads underscore clothing underscore line. And then you can check me out personally on Twitter at RepMilwaukee414. Let's go ahead and get into this review. Head to open it up. And as you guys can see here, we have a brown Nike Air Jordan 1 box. You know what this is. The box came in good shape. We have here the Air Jordan 1 High OG TS SP. Uh, I forget what the SP means, but uh, obviously the TS means Travis Scott. So these are the Travis Scott 1s. Colorway is Sail Black Dark Mocha size 14 in men's uh, and in women's size 15 and a half. Uh, the code on here is uh, CD4487-100. For all you box heads, label heads, y'all can see that right there. Traditional trademarking on the bottom. So let's go ahead and get into it, open it up, check it out. Like I said, don't want to waste too much time. I'm pretty sure y'all seen other people's videos. Y'all ain't seen my opinion on it though. So once again, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, first things first, they have the paper, which is in pink. They have Cactus Jack written on there, also with the logo and Nike also as well. Air Jordan Wings logo also as well, as you guys can see. And they have that paper and then they also have the traditional white paper also as well on the inside. And we have here the Travis Scott ones. Put the box to the side. And here we go. Travis Scott ones. God damn! All right, all right, all right. As you guys can see there, comes with one, two, three, four, four different, uh, different color laces. Um, so actually five color different laces because you have the stock black, which is laced in there already or unlaced, but actually in there already. And then you have four different colorways, which we'll get into here in a second. You have the, uh, just start with the left here. You have the um, StockX tag, verified, authentic, StockX tag, QR code on the other side there. Uh, you have here, like, I'm not gonna say this is white. Um, this is like an off-white. We have here the mocha or the brown. You got pink. And then you also have that red colorway. So four different bags, four different laces, and then stocked in that white, I mean, in that black, my bad, in that black laces here. And uh, out the gate though, yo, real talk, out the gate, the quality on these is phenomenal. It is phenomenal, for real. Uh, new book suede going around the toe box. The lace line wrapped around heel panel. And that mocha is fire. Like it's, 
it's, it's the quality on these is truly amazing. I didn't know what to expect, like real talk. I didn't know what to expect. Um, and and, the, and these are amazing. The quality on these are is amazing. The leather is very tumbled, very tumbled. Feels very good. As you guys can see there on the toe box, and in the mid panel here, you have the reverse suede swoosh there. As you guys can see. Uh, then also as well on the inside panel, you have that regular swoosh. So that's really dope. One thing I did find out um, about these, what Travis Scott did, the reasoning about having the backward swoosh uh, or the reverse swoosh, as I, I, as I can say here, is actually is paying homage to DJ Screw and Houston and the impact that DJ Screw and his music had on Travis Scott's uh, musically and just in his you know childhood period and how he put on for Houston so I thought that that was actually really dope about the uh, backwards swoosh because um, at first I was like I don't know if I'm feeling this backwards swoosh like what's the whole deal of having a backwards swoosh so once finding out about that I thought that that was dope it was very creative and so um, that actually made me more fond of this shoe when I found out uh, about the meaning uh, behind the backwards swoosh. So I know some people were saying upside down swoosh. I don't know why you would say upside down because it's not, it's, it's, it's a reverse swoosh. So I think that's actually really dope. Um, on the inside panel, I don't know if you guys would be able to see that, but he has the Cactus Jack logo underneath the swoosh there on the inner panel. So that's actually really dope. He has that uh, Cactus Jack logo on the back heel panel here, as you guys can see. Then also as well, he has the Cactus Jack logo on the tongue here, uh, stitched on the side, which is dope. And then you have in the red, the Nike Air logo right there on the tongue, traditional. Uh, you have the trademarking on the inside of the tongue, as you can see there. And then one dope thing also as well about this shoe is the heel pocket. So, I know you guys seen different um, different videos or whatever. This one actually has the black stitching. I've heard where it's like, if it has the black stitching, it's real. I guess on the fakes, they have white stitching on the inside there. This one is black stitching, as you can see. So, that's another indicator that uh, these are legit. But I heard a lot of inconsistencies um, where people were trying to say like, uh, you know, real versus fake, little different stuff or whatever. But there, I've seen a lot of inconsistencies in other people's videos and showing where they actually, you know, got them from Nike and they've had the same it's inconsistencies of uh, where people were trying to say were fake or whatever. So I wouldn't necessarily go off a lot of YouTube videos or saying, oh yeah, it's fake if it's like this or it's fake if it's like that because I mean, a lot of people have gotten their shoes directly from Nike and they've had the same inconsistencies. So, you know, um, to each his own, I would suggest if you are trying to pick these up, you know, make sure you get them from uh, a very reliable source. Uh, if it's StockX um, or if it's somebody that's very reliable, I would go off of that. I wouldn't go off just a random third party because, I mean, you never know. So, and even if you get it from like StockX, I mean, you know, do a double check or a triple check, you know, on these, you never know. So we all human, people make mistakes. So make sure you guys just, you know, reliable sources out here. And if you got them directly from Nike, then you're good to go. You know what it is, all right? So uh, they have the chocolate brown mocha outsole here, as you guys can see. Midsole is in that off-white which is actually pretty dope. Normally, I like, on my Jordan ones, I like my, my midsole to be white. Um, with this being um, basically like a mocha shoe, I actually think the off-white midsole actually contrasts with the new Buck suede very well. So I actually think that looks pretty dope in hand. Now on pictures, I was like, yo, I don't know about that, yo. That looks, that looks trash, but in hand, this is, this is a totally different story in hand, like real talk. I was actually talking a little crazy about the shoe, but once again, having it in hand, it puts you in a totally different perspective when you have this in hand. So hopefully 
you guys can see what I'm seeing here in hand compared to what you're seeing on picture. If you guys haven't been, a, you know, if you haven't been able to have these in hand and check them out yourself, hopefully my camera is picking up everything that I am speaking on as far as the quality, uh, how it looks cosmetically. Uh, the details on this shoe is is amazing, like real talk. It truly is amazing. So I put both of them together. You guys can check out the toe box there. That off-white toe box. Once again, that new buck suede. Um, wrapping around. You got the four, uh, the four different laces there on the side there, like I said. And then they also come in that black standard. Uh, there we go. Then showing off the back panel. Once again, uh, embossed there is that Travis Scott Cactus Jack logo on the back there, which is really dope. Um, and then once again, I didn't show this one. On this side here, which is that pocket there. And the pocket wraps all the way around the heel panel, the upper heel panel there. So you can actually Take it totally apart, the whole heel panel here, or whatever, as you guys can see. So, this is actually really, really dope. Like I said, y'all let me know what you guys think about this, though. So, are you guys feeling these? You never were feeling these, and you're still not feeling these after checking out my review or other people's reviews. Uh, checking out this review, seeing my perspective, and, and seeing my video puts you in a different perspective about the shoes and you like them even more, let me know in the comment section about how you guys feel though. Well, you know, what's your opinion? Me personally, initially I was, I'm not gonna say I was talking bad, bad about the shoe. It was just that the, the reverse swoosh was throwing me off. It was, it was throwing me off. So, but having these in hand, you know, once again, these are really dope, man. These are really, really dope. And this is a size 14, I wear 13. These, you know, they, you know, they, they're dope, man. They're dope. Most definitely, uh, sneaker shields. You going in these joints? Uh, but let me know what you guys think, though. So something very simple, but at the same time, the details and the quality and the, the the small stuff about this shoe makes it a lot better, especially in hands. So, I'm gonna go ahead and sign out. Uh, I've talked long enough, <laughs> and I appreciate you guys watching once again. Uh, is this is your first time watching. Appreciate you watching. Hopefully you guys like the video. Hopefully you guys got enough details about the shoe. Um, and if you were able to cop, you know, congratulations. And I'm going to holler at y'all later. Got more videos that I'm actually shooting today. Getting back in the swing and things a little bit here. So appreciate you guys watching. And I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.